Good afternoon. My name's Phil Goody. I've been a Christian for over 40 years and a minister helping to lead churches around the UK for 30 years. I'd like to share with you some of the insights that I've discovered about prayer over the years. Now the subject I want to talk about today is a book that many consider a spiritual classic. It's been a source of continuous inspiration for me for many years and it's a book called Practice the Presence of God by Brother Lawrence. Now Brother Lawrence was a French monk in the 15th century. He discovered that he could be in God's presence as easily when he was washing up as he could when in meditation in his cell in his monastery. Now, at the age of 18, Brother Lawrence had a conversion experience. He observed a tree in winter and realised that by spring it would be completely transformed. And in that moment, he clearly saw the providence and power of God and it awakened in him the presence of God in his own life, that God could come into his life and transform him. Now, having served in the army during the Thirty Years' War, he was injured and later became a monk in Paris, and he'd had no formal education. He just worked in the kitchens, but he was able to write down a little of his experience with God and was much used to guide people on their spiritual journey. His words inspired John Wesley and many others over the centuries. He writes the following paragraph. We ought to give ourselves to God in both the mundane and spiritual matters. We should seek our satisfaction only in fulfilling his will, whether that leads to suffering or to comfort. He goes on. All things are equal to a soul truly surrendered to God. There needs to be a faithfulness in the dry seasons of the spiritual life and when we feel distant from God and find prayer burdensome. At such times, God is testing our love for him. Those are times when we should surrender ourselves to God. And he says, if we do this, it will result in spiritual advancement. Now, the heart of Brother Lawrence's message is the idea that we can be with God at all times and in all places. Now in my own spiritual journey I've come to understand that every prayer is an act of faith. When we pray we should expect the ever-present God to hear and respond to us, whether it's the desperate cry of the lonely heart or the glad rejoicing at a new birth, whether it's a heartfelt petition for the broken and vulnerable in our community, or the sung praise of a mighty creator. God is with us at all times and in all places. And by faith, we know that. But our recognition of his presence is fragile and fragmented. So let us, with Brother John, practice the presence of God. Now here's an exercise that you might find helpful in order to achieve this. I want you to think for a moment about your day. Start when you woke up and work your way through to the present time. What actions and words have you undertaken in that time? What things have you done which are mundane, ordinary, straightforward. What have you done that is spiritual? Just think through those moments and now ask the Holy Spirit to bring to your awareness which of those activities were you aware of the presence of God? Was it all of them? Was it none of them? Was it some of them? Was it a, a, a secular, ordinary event, activity, or was it something spiritual? Where was God most present in your waking hours? Now, 
And when you've reflected on that for a little bit, think again, where during this last day were you least aware of God? What were you doing? What was setting you apart from him? Now this little exercise is something called the examine, where we examine our lives. And I will speak more of it at another time. But for now, let us ask God to help each one of us, you and me, to focus on how we can be more close to him each day, each hour of every day, each moment of each hour of every day. How we can stay close to God and practice the presence of God. Now there's a, a lovely translation of practice the presence of God and in modern English um, by a chap called Marshall Davis and it's available in all sorts of formats and very easy to obtain and uh, I believe it's also free on Kindle if you have such a thing. But let's now just take a moment and be aware of the fact that God is here with us and as we pray he hears our prayers. He understands the workings of our hearts and our minds, the things we have to do day by day, and the time that we spend with him. Each moment of each day is precious to him. Let's just be quiet and be in the presence of God. Thank you for being with me for these last few minutes and I look forward to spending some time with you again in the days and weeks to come.